China banned the import of foreign garbage. Southeast Asian countries such as Malaysia have been accepting this wave with dire consequences. Although the Malaysian government restricts the import of plastic waste, it has not been effective as many developed countries continue to send their waste. In our next story, a village which is a 30-minute drive from Port Klen has become the center for illegal waste treatment and burial. Let's take a look. In our continuing series about where foreign garbage is going, we come to Malaysia, which has accepted waste after China rejected it. This has caused serious domestic pollution problems. Jandrum is about a 30-minute drive from Port Klen, the largest international port in Malaysia. It is on the main route from the port to the capital, Kuala Lumpur. Because of its convenient location, the area around the village attracted more than 50 foreign waste recycling plants in 2018. Our place is officially from Port Klang, but we are very close to Kiri Island. I'll take you to see later. There is a private port over there where you can smuggle a lot of containers. If you see customs over there, it is just a simple shack, and it is very easy to buy this person off to get illegal goods past them. <laughs> The sign reads Malaysian Royal Customs, but there is no guard in the booth. The reporter can easily enter the private thought that the former villager chief said. Perhaps the security check is too less, and the illegal waste plastic recycling factory operators can take advantage of it to introduce foreign garbage. Malaysia says it will send some 3,300 tons of imported plastic waste by illegal recycling factories. Faced with the overwhelming environmental problems, after being reported by the international media, the government, which had just taken office at that time, had to face this crisis. We received many complaints from residents complaining of bad smells, such as burning plastic. And then we went to investigate and found out that the more we looked, the more we found. And we also learned that this is not a domestic problem, as most of the plastic waste didn't come from Malaysia. Among them, more than 50 plastic recycling factories in Jandrome. More than half are illegal factories, and they are located in hidden palm oil plantations. Previously, not many people came to look for factories. But at that time, there were many people looking for these spaces. We thought it was quite weird, but we also thought that this industry can develop here. So we just rented it to them. The operators of the illegal recycling plant imported machines and employees from mainland China. And their waste disposal methods were either incineration or a simple burial. This is the outskirts of Jinja Rome, where a lot of foreign garbage was found here. It can be said that this pile of foreign garbage can be more than two stories high. Although it is now cleared away, in fact, the garbage buried in the ground still exists. After the incident broke out, the land took two years to repair and has gradually become green. However, reporters still found that at the scene, polyester particles left by the industry which hurriedly left, as well as the impacts of foreign garbage left on the village. They used a very simple recycling system, which is use water. This made the smell not so obvious. For example, when we talk about hexavalent chromium, it should not exceed 0.05, but this is more than three times the standard. This waste plastic recycling factory is like an invisible killer operating 24 hours a day to transport waste plastic imported from other places and making extra pellets to be transported back to China for huge profits. These economic advantages have led the environment to suffer major damage. The PTASKR Environmental Association launched a protest against the import of foreign garbage, bringing this issue to light as new concern was shown for Jean Jerome. Some factories move into this rural area, which has been a big problem. We don't know where they drain the wastewater and how to get this evidence. Sometimes we can't get it in the daytime as we have to go at night to get the evidence. 
the speed of cracking down on illegal foreign recycling plants appears to be slow, mainly because law enforcement agencies have to coordinate between different departments. It's not that we didn't deal with it immediately. When we were in the meeting, we ordered our law enforcement team to close the factory, but the factory is still operating secretly. Later, after receiving the attention of the international media, an order by our Minister of State that all units and departments have to work together. These units include the Environmental Agency, Police Department, Immigration Department, and the State Government. All units have to work together to solve this problem at the same time. The government's big moves, coupled with reports from local environmental organizations and international media, have caused illegal foreign waste recycling plants to leave Jan Jerome, and landlords who rent out their land for immediate economic benefits also came under pressure from all sides. Frankly speaking, as landlords, we just collect rent. We don't know if they have a license or not. We later learned that they were doing this illegal production. As landlords, we also paid a big fine, and they hit us very hard. Our factory has not been rented out for almost a whole year. Some people also believe that what we did as landlords was totally without morals. In April 2019, the Malaysian government established a foreign garbage investigation team, and in October of the same year, a total of 89 containers were returned to their country of origin. With maggots from Australia, this one. Right. Okay. This is a curry France, yeah? Yeah. Kapu, the refiner, Tukang Kapu, this is here. The branches. Economic benefits have led the environments to be sacrificed as well as public health. To solve the problem of foreign garbage, we must strengthen law enforcement and prevent unscrupulous businesses from moving to other locations to start another cycle of exploiting the environment. Ping